Well, if uh, Mr. Cohen misled the Congress about the president's business dealings in Russia deep into the campaign, it also means that the president misled the country about his business dealings uh, and that the Russians were apparently attempting to gain financial leverage uh, over the potential president of the United States. This just underscores how important it is for us to finish the investigation to determine what financial links the Russians have to the president and the Trump organization uh, to determine whether they continue to hold leverage. Uh, so clearly we have a lot more work to be done uh, and just as clearly the president uh, has misled the country about his financial uh, dealings with the Russians. So how important is it at this juncture, this development? I think it's very important. Uh, it shows that uh, certainly Mr. Cohen uh, is providing deep cooperation with the special counsel even as Mr. Manafort is not. Uh, what more uh, Mr. Cohen has to say we don't know. Uh, we will be very interested uh, at the appropriate time in inviting Mr. Cohen to come back to our committee uh, to share uh, any additional information and insights to clarify his prior testimony before our committee. Uh, so there's uh, a lot uh, more that warrants investigation. Michael Cohen. You see, Michael Cohen. Down the uh, you steps. see his at attorney as well. We're watching to see if they make any remarks. There he is. Just cooperated. Mr. Cohen will continue to cooperate. Sentencing is set for December 12th. Mr. Cohen, how are you feeling? Mr. Cohen, how are you feeling? Sir, do you want to say anything? Thank you very much. Thanks. Are you happy? Mr. Cohen, Mr. Cohen, why do you decide? Mr. Cohen, here first. Amy, come on this way. Come on this way, Amy. And back Thank you. <laughs> All right. So not a word from Michael Cohen there, who has uh, pleaded guilty there in, in federal court in lower Manhattan to lying to Congress.